The EE site on the rooftop behind me is something else, with a whopping five 5G layers already, and it's only the start of 2022. On this rooftop, EE has 5G on 700 megahertz, 1800 megahertz, 2100 megahertz, and then two layers in the N78 3300 to 3800 MHz range. The most exciting and new of these is the 5G on 1800 MHz. After all, we've seen 5G on 700 MHz and on N78 and as well on 2100 MHz on EE, and I've covered these in recent videos and on social media. But we haven't seen EE doing 5G on 1800 MHz up to this point and also they've done it in quite an exciting way all the way back in 2012 ee became the first mobile network operator to launch 4g services in the uk through using 2 by 10 megahertz of their 1800 megahertz spectrum as 4g and over the years they have increased the amount of their 1800 megahertz used for 4g all the way up to 2 by 40 megahertz, leaving only 2 by 5 megahertz for GSM. Interestingly, what EE's done at this site is to drop back from 2 by 40 megahertz of 4G to 2 by 30 megahertz of 4G, and then using the 2 by 10 megahertz that is created through doing that as 5G and pure 5G, not DSS, completely pure. 5G in that spectrum area. So what's performance like? Well, I have the Network Signal Guru up here on my phone and we can see the 5G on 1800 MHz at the top there, aggregated with three 4G carriers. If I just flick through and start a downlink test here, you can see it's floating about 300, 400-ish there, which is, is pretty good really. And now I'll show you what the other 5G configurations look like. This is an example when the device is using EE's first N78 carrier alongside five 4G carriers in the downlink. And you can see we've got about 740 megabits per second there. This is one where it's using the second N78 carrier alongside again five downlink 4G carriers. Fairly similar performance, of course. I was moving around a bit, so these aren't lab conditions really and then if we go over here we can see this is using 2100 megahertz alongside four 4g downlink carriers and then this has n28 so 700 megahertz 4g alongside five downlink 4g so understandably the N78 5G alongside 5 downlink 4G carriers leads to the best numbers. Now EE is clearly working at quite some speed because this is by no means the only 1800 MHz 5G site they have as I stand here today. In fact they have quite a significant cluster of these just sort of around King's Cross and, and north of it. And it is important for EE to be deploying 5G on bands such as 1800 MHz, especially when SA standalone 5G comes around. Having this 5G deployment on bands other than N78 and N28 is very helpful for providing that intermediate layer with good coverage as well as a reasonable amount of capacity behind it as well. Thanks for watching this video about a 5 5G layer EE site as well as an introduction to EE's brand new 5G on 1800 MHz. I hope you've enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.